Today's vehicles are loaded with electronics that add high demands on the battery and charging system. Even when the key is off, most cars will draw a small current from the battery to run things like the clock and other vital computer modules. Computer modules are programmed to go into a sleep mode to cut power consumption after the ignition has been switched off. But the powertrain can be up to 100 milliwatts for 30 minutes or more after the engine has been switched off. Vehicles with a smart key fob can activate the keyless entry system and other modules, increasing the power drain on the battery. Consequently, if a car isn't driven for a week or more, the battery can drain to the point where it may not crank the engine. Loose, corroded, or damaged battery cables make poor electrical contact and can cause a battery to run down or a no-start condition. That's why your customer should inspect battery cables and clean or replace as necessary if they encounter starting or charging problems or are installing a new battery. Batteries in hot climates typically need to be replaced sooner than in more moderate climates by up to two years. The heat causes the electrolyte inside the battery to evaporate, and once that level drops below the top of the lead plates, the plates can be permanently damaged. Adding insult to injury, there's no way to add water to maintenance-free sealed batteries. Consequently, batteries with this condition will become damaged if their water level gets too low. Lead-acid batteries have been a mainstay in vehicles for decades, but with new power demands, many OEMs are switching to longer-lasting absorbed glass mat, or AGM, batteries. The sealed glass mat design is more reliable, but they're more expensive than the traditional flooded battery. AGM batteries drain at a much lower rate than flooded types. Higher amp-hour AGM batteries also can discharge more deeply and recover repeatedly under vehicle alternator charge or through maintenance charging. A standard flooded cell battery can't handle this type of cycling without failing prematurely. With all the electronics in modern vehicles today, changing a battery isn't as simple as it once was. If you change a battery without hooking the cables to an auxiliary battery, you may lose radio presets or important PCM information. The vehicle must relearn and cycle through the OBD2 emissions test to bring everything back to normal operating conditions, and that's just the electronics in the engine. There are many modules connected through the controller area network, or CAN bus, that can be affected when a battery isn't replaced correctly. Jump-starting a vehicle with jumper cables from another car, for example, can cause voltage spikes that may weaken or destroy the battery cells in both vehicles. If your customer must jump-start their vehicle, they should use an auxiliary starter battery or a battery pack that won't spike the voltage. Thanks for watching.